Hello, howdy and how are ya? Welcome to our first ever Plain Old Plays. I'm your host, Plain Old Trey, and we have a special play lined up for this one. Uh, my very favorite Zelda in the series, Majora's Mask. Before we get to that, uh, I wanted to talk about Plain Old Plays and what it is that I want to do with these things. Essentially, I'm going to be making an hour to an hour and a half episode of the game we're currently making our way through and have those upload on Tuesday and Thursday of every week. During these playthroughs, I'm going to be on cam, reacting, uh, explaining, talking lore on games that I know, and more along those lines. And for games that I don't know, I'll be reading all the dialogue, checking out all the lore, trying to figure out, you know, get to the bottom of, of what it is that the game is trying to tell us. Uh, plain Old Plays also give me another opportunity to connect with the Plain Old crew, uh, other than just our live content on Twitch or Kick. Most of the time, we're live on those platforms, but I figured, hey, this is a great opportunity to nerd out on some of my favorite games and give folks who might not be able to catch our live shows with the crew a chance to uh, get in here and meet plain old Trey. Moving forward, we're going to cover games I know, games you guys know, and I'll play them blind, of course, and brand new games in general. Our genres will cover it all, and I'm very excited for the future plays like Metroid Zero Mission, Dark Souls 3, we've got Bloodborne, Donkey Kong Country 3, Super Mario Sunshine, Donkey Kong Country, the entire trilogy, mind you, actually, Marvel Spider-Man, God of War, Resident Evil, a plethora of retro titles and brand new titles all alike. Uh... Everything you might want to see, we're trying to knock a little bit of all of it out. So if you have something that you want to see, you can do me a favor by commenting on any of the plain old plays as they arrive. Let me know what you'd like. I'd love to see more and more options appear over time. With that being said, I do believe it's time to play Legend of Zelda Majora's Ask. Hello, hello. Welcome to our first ever Plain Old Plays. Uh, today we're going to be covering The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This was a Zelda game that came out in 2000 on the <laughs> Nintendo 64, and it sort of divided the Zelda base at the time. Many folks weren't really sure how they felt about it, uh, partially because, well, it reused a lot of the same properties of Ocarina of Time, and it was a the production was a bit rushed toward the end and you know people just weren't really sure what how they felt about a giant lumen moon dark undertones and uh, the fixed time schedule it really drove people mad uh, for me however this was my first experience for a 3d Zelda this was the first time I'd ever known that Zelda had gone 3d I had not played Ocarina of Time yet uh, I didn't get that until later down the line. It's a funny story. We'll probably cover Ocarina of Time in the series, and I'll talk about it then. I personally find this to be one of the most rewarding Zeldas out of all of them, to be honest with you guys, uh, simply because just finding all the masks, doing the side quests, meeting the characters, bringing the world of Termina together was just next level, and no other Zelda experience has really compared to me. Uh... <clears throat> If the older one scared you guys, if you weren't too into the N64 one, and at the time you were like, I'll probably never play this game. If you happen to be able to get your hands on a copy of the 3DS version, I promise you it's going to be an easier progression system. It's going to be quality of life improvement, enhanced graphics. It'll probably be an overall better experience for you. But for our plain old play and for tonight's episode, we're going to be playing on the Nintendo 64. All right. We'll go ahead and make our name plain, simply because plain old Trey, why not? That's, uh, on, on our Twitch shows, we always go with plain for our avatars, whatever it may be. All right. Let's start it up. 
the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once raged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Of course, it speaks of Nabi from Ocarina of Time, for those who might not know. Well, who is this friend? Link's out here making friends. Who? <laughs> who is, who is, who's Link's friend? I've never known Link to have friends. This is a new one to me, bucko. <laughs> Yeah, that was his one friend. He considered Navi his only friend, and uh, I guess Navi felt indifferent. So in walks Tattle and Tail, our lovely two fairy antagonists slash future partner. I always found it interesting that Young Link couldn't ride Epona in Ocarina of Time, yet he steals her from the ranch. And <laughs> comes to Termina. <laughs> oh baby. Now that's a sad that's a spicy meatball. That's a sexy boy right there. I love me some skull kid. Hehe, <laughs> you two fairies did great. <laughs> I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. So they're out here with the Skull Kid just mugging people. He straight pulled up on Link and was like, whack horse, stupid flute. What's he got on him? That's it. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't, Tail. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way. You can't touch it. Aw, oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Hmm. My man woke up. Yeah, y'all just mug me? Y'all thought that shit was funny? There they go. The journey begins. So something I like to do here when you first start off, is I mean, you're gonna be going to Clock Town, right? Like that's where we're headed. I always like to check. I get curious. I'm like, are there rupees? Will it let me have rupees out here? Also, I always found it fascinating that there's just these woods out here. And that's it. We never come back to this scene ever again in the game. This is a one time. I don't, if I'm not, I don't think there was anything like that in Ocarina. Just uh, one time rooms that just were never touched again like this. I think you kept revisiting locations there. Ah, there might have been some useless secret rooms. Also, something else to note here. Uh, later, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get the Keaton, uh, the Keaton mask. But, uh... There's a Keaton in here, but you can't come back here, so you would never be able to get this Keaton. Very, very interesting. Alright. So right now... <clears throat> I also have the question, if we're pursuing the Skull Kid, how did he get Epona? How did he get the horse that he stole up that? How did, did the, and then did they just free fall? I 
We've got clocks, Deku masks, Zora mask, Goron mask, all the masks essentially coming at us right there. The moon, uh, had a little bit of everything right there. Also, I love that he's just got stage lights that have like geometric shapes in them. If you look closely, there's like s squares, circles, triangles, etc. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, boo-hoo, why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now, do you really think you could beat me as I am now, fool? So Link was immediately cursed. As soon as he tried to do, you know, something. He wanted to do something. As soon as he tried, that was game over. Deku scrubs. So, like, we see Link running here from the giant Deku scrub, and he's, like, freaking out, and it's taking over his body. He's being morphed into the Deku right now. I almost wonder, like, in his head... So, I'm, I'm almost curious if that's what was playing in his head. And while that was playing in his head, he was just, like, freaking out mentally. And then, like, he wakes and comes to, and then he looks down and sees him. So he's like, what the... And I totally missed that dialogue. <laughs> I was too busy worried about Link. The Skull Kid basically said, ha ha ha, look at you. Sis! Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me. I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. You. If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking? Oh. Fat thumbs. Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so just hurry up. Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be all right on his own. So I never understood that. Like, Tattle acts like, once again, another Keaton here, but we can't come back here ever. Tattle acts like she can do so much. Like, she's, isn't she just like a little orb of light? Just a little, like, okay. Wait for me, don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there. I, um, apologize. So, take me with you? You wanna know about the Skull Kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out, deal? Please? Good, so then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that Skull Kid. My name's Tattle, so, uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Oh, I might have had it backwards and called her Tail. That's Tattle. The, the, her brother's Tail. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can't we move? Uh, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up on the C button. Press the up C button, and I'll tell you. Hopefully, you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Yeah, we're not gonna... Yeah, yeah, I'm with Link. We're not gonna... Don't worry, Tail. Once again, um... Important to note, another Keaton. So I truly don't understand what their what their logic was for putting all of these Keatons in the game. I, I don't that that has been a mystery to me ever since I was little. I remember uh, it was like probably my third or fourth playthrough of the game. Okay. All right, we just had to have her explain. We had to have her explain what a Deku flower was. So essentially the Deku can go into these flowers. You're gonna go up to them. You'll see that it says uh, A to dive. You go into it, boom, boom. And then you get flight. Uh, a fun fact about the flower, there is actually no time length on any of the flight. 
the length comes from the reason it expires is because you've gotten too far out of the wheelhouse of the flower you launched from. So if we get outside of this flower's range, it will die. If we stay in the flower's range, we can literally stay full propelled the entire time. But we'll slowly sink down. But it'll never run out. As long as we're in the range. And that is why later on, uh, when we get to Snowhead Temple, you're gonna see me get a stray fairy where we have to float down from the top. Right. So Deku Nuts, uh, as a kid, I always avoided, I was, never would use Deku Nuts. I was like, what a stupid item. As an adult, I realized how wrong I was, and that's, and, and, and that's okay. Um, in Ocarina of Time, you can use Deku Nuts to hurt Ganon. In this game, you can bomb with the uh, Deku from up high, and uh, they're just useful to stun just about any pesky enemy, honestly. There you go. See, you can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them. Z targeting. Okay, so it's teaching us Z targeting. Typical. Come over to this tree and check it out. So what's interesting about this tree, and we're going to see that in many, many videos down the line uh, of this series. Uh, during the credits, we're going to see the Deku Butler from the Deku Palace talking to this tree. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. So the, 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 the myth here is that this tree is the Deku Butler's son that Majora, or the Skull Kid wearing Majora's mask, cursed and killed, and you were given his identity basically through the mask. Essentially how you put this mask on, the Goron mask on, or the Zora mask on, and you become uh um Dar you got you become Darmani or you become um Macau. You basically take on an identity. Now this is straight out the forest temple in Ocarina. But what's interesting is as soon as you walk through, those doors shut, you're done. You can no longer leave this area. As a kid, I was always fascinated with this area because I felt like there should have been some secret, something else here. But the truth of the matter is, it's just inside the clock tower where we get to hear, you know, the song of healing. And we meet our first NPC aside from, uh, aside from the Skull Kid. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Famous line from this game. Hands down, one of the most memorable lines. She's hiding because she knows that they stole the mask from him. <laughs> just drinking a water, a sparkling water, Topo Chico. Not sponsored or anything, just didn't want anybody to think I was chugging alcohol. <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. I'm pretty sure his imagery was based off of Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, if you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. He is talking, speaking of the ocarina. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get my precious mask back that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. So that implies that the happy mask salesman knows you, right? Obviously, technically this Link helped him out in Hyrule. But he knows you, and he knows that Link can handle a challenge. I always found that a little eerie. Like, how does he... Like, he said he'd been following me, but for how long? Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here's up. 
but yes, you'll be fine. I see you're young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll be, you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. All right. So, uh, something I always like to look at too on him. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. We've got an Elvis mask. I'm gonna assume that's some sort of like mummy mask. I don't know what this like dark mask is there. I know we've got a uh, Mario mask. I don't know what the mask next to him is. Maybe this, you know, I don't know what that is. We've got a luchador and uh, a Ninja Turtle over here. Well, I can't really get a good view of the Ninja Turtle. There it is. And then the luchador's up top. So I guess if you're watching this, I would like for you to uh, leave a comment down below if you know what any of these masks are, uh, aside from the ones I named. I don't know what this little red one is. I don't know if that's like some sort of Gibdo or mummy mask right there. And then over here, I noticed we have this like slit eye, like pig looking mask. We've got this like weird gray one up top, this orange one and a luchador. So, uh, you know, if you if you know, if, if you happen to be a uh, Majora's Mask nerd like myself and you know a little bit about that, I'd love to hear from you. 72 hours remain. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. Three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, if you want to find the Skull Kid, the Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate and you'll find the Great Fairy there. So that's where we're going. Um, we can't do too much as the Deku we need that Ocarina we need we need to become a human again uh, with with uh, the first cycle of days passing mainly being a little bit of clock town work but not much so the Deku can't swim but gets hops Please return, uh, please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in the North Clocktown. So the Skull Kid harassed all the great fairies in this land. And the Skull Kid has successfully, uh, destroyed the great fairies and turned them into stray fairies. So what I was saying is the Deku cannot swim, so he gets five hops. All good. Is Brack working tonight? I wonder if that'll get finished. Hey, Apprentice, don't just stand around looking at the sky all day. This poster's an eyesore. What a sorry collection of cowards. Blech, foo. All right. Now, we could go play the treasure chest game in East Clock Town, but there's truly no need for us to play it. Uh, if this were a randomizer or something of that regard, sure. But for this, for our purposes, the Deku doesn't, there's no reward worthy of playing. Let's speak to these guys. My, my, funny things are happening in town, aren't they? Funny, funny. You're telling me, like the rumors about the swamp to the south? Did you hear about the kidnapping? Oh my, the kidnapping. Yep, but then the kid woke up. Get it, kid napping? Hoo-hoo, I've got a million of them. Oh, ho, ho. Jesus, all right. Let's head up here. Uh, so normally there are quest lines we could already be starting, but because we're the Deku and we don't have a means of becoming a human yet, we're simply using this time to collect rupees, talk to Tingle before he launches to buy a map. And uh, I always will buy the maps from Tingle. Anytime we see Tingle, if I have the cash, we're gonna be buying maps from him. There's a piece of heart in that tree, but we're not able to uh, get that until we can be human link again. So there's that. All right. What's this? Green clothes, white fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, 
Though I am already 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yes. You got a map of Clock Town. Well, call again. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu Limpa. These are magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. He's just so excited, you know. All right, so we're gonna take that stray fairy into here. This is the the fairy's fountain in North Clock Town. Oh no, the great fairy! So you see, by combining all the stray fairies, we create the classic vine triangle boobed great fairy. Tattle and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought the masked child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. She got Link, uh... We be all night! She got Link with that, we be all night. Wow! <laughs> we be all night! <laughs> You've been granted magic power in your current form. Press B to shoot bubble blast. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it, and your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of Skull Kid's whereabouts, but please be careful. You must not underestimate the child's powers, kind young one. If you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. So we'll have to make our way back when we uh, get our human form back. As of right now, we are stuck as a Deku. That's where this little guy comes in play. So he is trying to pop this balloon. Let's impress him by popping the balloon ourselves. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. Bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting in that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? All right, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? And there we are. So with the Deku, it's very easy to get these kids. You just keep doing this. Eventually they'll have to run into you. You caught me, there's only four left. We got another one over here. There's only three left. So there's going to be two in East Clock Town. There's none in South Clock Town, but there's going to be one more in West. Two left. He's on the roof. One left. And he is going to be all the way over in West Clock Town, so... We'll cut through south again by all the construction workers. This dog, depending on what mask you're wearing, has different emotions towards you, but it absolutely hates the Deku scrub. So if you go up to it wearing the mask of truth and speak, I'll show you guys later. <laughs> That's the man we're looking for, the bank 
bookkeep the the bank teller he's gonna be the guy uh that takes all our money before we go back which we're gonna try to get a full wallet before we go back in time at least once you're pretty good for a deku scrub if only you were human then i could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member what do you guys think no way no scrubs i guess not once we let some kid join who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. Oh. So, you know, right there is them saying they let the Skull Kid in, and he calls a fuck ton of ruckus. But I'll teach you the code, just as I promised. I can tell you only once, though, so play close attention. Are you ready? All right, we're going to write this down. Two, three, four, five, one. That's an easy one. All right, and so now we take that to East Clock Town and we can get into the bomber's hideout, which we'll go ahead and trigger all of this stuff to happen. That way we can simply collect rupees the rest of the time. Uh, let's see. I can't believe I forgot it that fast. <laughs> All right, so this little guy is the guard. He wears the yellow bandana. I guess I should be reading the dialogue. I I, I forget because I, I I I read it in my head so fast. So apologies. I'll be better about that moving forward. <laughs> All right. So again, we're using the Deku to hop here. Uh, gonna avoid a Skulltula right there. Okay, so when we come in here, say you were out of magic, or you just didn't understand. Um, I believe these jars would actually give you magic. Yeah, and then on the other side, they would give you health. So again, the Deku doesn't really have to be fast pace. Uh, the reason being is because we've got literally nothing but time. And we're gonna take advantage of that. Are you a new friend of the Bombers Gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischief mischievous friends from the other day. <laughs> that ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Do you gaze into the telescope? So there's all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, we can see this guy. He's trying to, he's trying to get those rupees. Um, we can watch the Deku salesman leave Clock Town and fly into his grove right there, his little grotto. And then, you know, you can look up at the moon. Very scary, ominous moon. And... And we're gonna get another moon. This is a double moon scenario. Can't believe him. I cannot believe him. All right. Well, did you find that troublemaker and that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock tower, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Almost as if that's a hint. <laughs> All right, let's grab it. Moon tear, let's go. So... Andrew and the Stockpot Inn have a quest. Uh, we won't be touching that quest as the Deku, but we will do that quest just to get it going as Link. We're going to take care of as much of Clocktown as we possibly can before we head out. 
um, and start being Link and stuff. So, as you can hear the clock, our first day is reaching nightfall. Uh, nothing to be concerned about. Again, the Deku uh, has probably the least amount of concern. This first phase on the clock, in my eyes, is probably the, the most just lenient, reserved, like, moment kind of deal. It's just like, ah, okay. Um, you don't, because, 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 yeah, the threat's there. Oh, day three, but day three is what you need because you're going to need to reset, you know, uh, a lot of, a lot of little things that go into it. Um... Let's see. Is there anything else we can do as the Deku? Yes, there is. Wait, wait, hang on. So we have to find a way up there since the Deku just can't climb up there like Link can. Deku Link cannot make hops. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. I've already sold out of my wares, and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here, Deku Flower included. That stone! You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here, Deku Flower included, yes? We got the land title deed. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. So each major land in this game will have one of these Deku scrubs, right? And if we bring it, the title deed, from the previous Deku Scrub, it will let us use its flower to get a piece of heart. Each Deku Scrub has a flower that leads to uh, a piece of heart. Now you see, this is uh, what I was talking about, about the range. See, we got too far from it. That's the only reason we can't make it. It has nothing to do with the amount of time. I could have stayed... Uh, in the air, floating around over here, as close to it as I wanted, and it would have never, like, like, obviously you'd have fallen to the ground slowly, but it's just cool to know. So what we're gonna do, uh, instead of just hanging out or going to get the Scarecrow to skip time, we're gonna go ahead and help the human Link out. We are going to go into the hotel after 8.30, it's already closed. Andrew's probably like, what are you doing up? Why, right, like, can I talk to you? No, can't talk to you. She doesn't come out of the room now because we didn't trigger that. So now it is 9.15. Why are we in the stockpot inn? You may be wondering. Well, aside from the bugs in the kitchen, the curry on the stove, and the 2D, 3D onions, which are some of my favorite things, uh, there's a lovely fish back here that we just wanted to come say hello to. Just kidding. Um, at midnight, a hand comes up over here. And this hand is seeking something. It's seeking something. Clean itself. Because that is a toilet. And it doesn't have toilet paper. <laughs> so, any item that you have that is treated as paper aka the title deed, he will take from you and give you a piece of heart instead. Now the reason we are going to give him this title deed instead of, oh, but you just said that there are other Dekus you give him to. The reason we're going to give him this is because we have to do a time reset before we can leave the town at all. So because of that, that title deed is going to go right back into the Deku's hand. We're going to have to get the moon tier again, do all the steps again. Um, which we may do the Deku quest, but they're not necessary. And I don't know if we're going to be getting all pieces of heart, more so. Uh, all masks is what I'm going for. So, okay, let's check it out. Oh! P -p 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 paper, please! Oh! 
Yay! Yay! Who doesn't love that, dude? Oh, you saved me. This fell down here. I'll give it to you. You got a piece of heart. There we go. And we helped out the hand. So now we've done that. There's nothing more we can do here. Let's leave. yet so we're not uh i skipped his dialogue he, he has nothing important to say right now mm. we were we were like gonna fill up the wallet but uh day three i guess is gonna be where we get more we're gonna get a purple from the top of the tower i believe and then that's gonna be it really because we've already gotten so much of everything else um but one lady just got the bomb bag stolen from her. We couldn't help her. We couldn't help her yet. So our goal right now then, since we've done everything we could do in North Clock Town, um, there is a Deku Scrub minigame. Now, a Deku Scrub minigame is all right. We could go play that, but there's really no need to. Um, and it's more annoying than anything. Okay. So he was like, you know, deposit 200 rupees. All right. So now we're good. We got 60 rupees in. And wouldn't it be nice if there was a scarecrow that could fast forward time? Also, I think it's funny that he's working at like late nights. One rupee. So I always thought it was funny that his dance to fast forward time was to the the Lost Woods Seria song. So Seria song come fast forward time, dawn of the second day. We're going to. This is essentially our fast forward. This is our way of, of getting through. It went by in an instant. I'm still full of energy. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance until night. Yes. So we're going to let him dance us all the way to the final day. There's nothing more we want to do with the Deku other than get our ocarina back and become human again. Once that happens, we'll be good to uh, really start opening up the game. But we're not even going to leave Clock Town immediately. We're going to do all the side quest stuff that we can do in Clock Town toward getting uh, our masks and things like that. Which isn't that much, but we will still be able to get the bigger wallet before we head out and things like that as well. This is Dawn of the Final Day. And this will be the final dance he offers. He won't let us go further than dawn, the night, the final night. He won't like fast forward it to midnight or anything. This is it. So he he hightails it out of here after this. Night of the final day, 12 hours remain. How was it? It went by in an instant. I'm still full of energy, but outside the seas have gotten kind of dangerous. I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Would you like to learn it? Listen up. It seems that if you play that mysterious song backward, you can slow the passage of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move half a day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? If you learn a new song, come try it on me. Until then, I'll see you later, baby. All right. So now it's the final day. Uh, on the final day, there is a chest in the center tower because they've been building it up. Uh, even on the final day, it wasn't as tall as they wanted it to be. 
I could have sworn we could get up there. If we can't, that's fine, but I could have sworn we could with the Deku. Okay. I s okay, hold on. We're gonna try this one last time. If it doesn't work this time, then we'll just go get ready to go up in the clock tower. It could just be a hookshot chest. And I could just be misremembering. Yeah, just below it every time. See how it woke back up after it acted like it was about to fall out? That's because we're within the distance of the flower. Now the yellow flowers shoot you higher than the pink flowers. Um, and they do have a higher, a wider radius that you can fly from them before your flight deactivates. So we filled half a heart container. The door to the clock tower opens at midnight. So if you look now, you notice the moon is getting even closer on the town. In fact, let's go over here and take a look at it. So this guy, hey Deku kid, you waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower to the clock tower entrance up there? Sorry, my apprentice is panicked and ran away. This is all we got for a festival tower? It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the entrance of the clock tower. I apologize for all of this. I wish I could scare that moon away. So like, he's upset about his employees, but he's also like, he also seems apologetic, which is, you know, when you're wearing uh, tiger, tiger pants. Look at that character model. Yells at the top of his lungs, and he even has teeth. That's funny. So, like, right now, he still won't let us out. He's, like, praying, but he's like, you cannot leave the town. That's hilarious. So, like, these were supposed to be, like, little festive booths and shit when the festival was happening, I'm pretty sure. Absolutely guaranteed we shall guard your assets. Locktown Bank. Interesting. All right. Open on up, clock doors. It's time. Let's do our thing. Though I think this is going to start me back down at the bottom anyways. I think I'm going to I think this resets the scene and it's going to have me walking out of the clock, which is fine. Which is fine. I also never understood what that was supposed to be when I was young, like that big thing falling forward. I don't, I don't, I, I still, to this day, don't know what that is. Like, what is that supposed to be? Oh wow, it didn't reset me. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there. Yeah, I mean. All right, here we go. Amazing music right here. I love this music. Sis! Ah, Tail! We've been looking for you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon, hurry! The four who are there, bring them here! Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No! What are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. The famous scream. I tell ya.
So we popped him with a bubble. He tweaked and dropped the ocarina. You've got the Ocarina of Time back. Princess Zelda gave you this instrument. Set it to C and use A to press the four C buttons to play it. Uh, press the B button to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. Fun fact, this is the only time the princess is mentioned and seen in this game. We never talk about Zelda again in this one, which is rare. And there's no talks of Ganon nor Ganondorf, which is also rare. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Till that day comes, please take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. This reminds me of us. Those blur effects are next level. 2000 N64 with the fucking... Uh, with the... with the... with the... Retro Rumble expansion. Or whatever it was called. The little Rumble... no, the... Expansion pack. Not Rumble. The Rumble was for the... Back. You remember the song of time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. We also are getting to hear Zelda's lullaby, which I don't recall if this is in the game anymore after this scene. I also don't really like I get that Link with the goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. Snap out of it. What are you doing? Lost in memories? Get yourself together. Getting that old ocarina back isn't going to help us. Somebody, anybody, got us some time. Help us, please. We need more time. So as you can see, I have a Deku Nut and a Rupee. Those are going to be gone when we play the Song of Time, which is why we try to deposit everything. Where did you get that instrument? Also, I really enjoyed how the ocarina manifests as whatever instrument, uh, the, the, like, whatever, like, the three main masks, the three different races, the Deku, the Zora, the Goron, it does, like, whatever instrument that, that, like, character of that race would play. I always thought that was really cool. It showed way more than five rupees just then. That was weird. I mean, it showed way more than one rupee. I thought I only had one rupee. So like four. So you see, this is interesting. This happens still, apparently. This happens still, apparently, though. Like, like my man can. So this is something that I'll get. He can go back in time, but all of this still happened. I guess the only difference is somehow he brought back the ocarina, but he loses his other items. I guess he doesn't lose the actual bow. Bookshot, stuff like that, so never mind. What just happened? Everything is. Started over. What are you, anyway? That song you played, that instrument. That instrument. Wait, that's it. That your instrument. The mask salesman said if you got back that precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? But we're going to do a couple things. We're going to slow down time, first and foremost. That way we have enough time to do everything we want to do and we're not feeling rushed. Second on the list. 
We're gonna go over here and grab the fairy again. So now that we have that fairy again, as soon as we go to North Block Town as Young Link, we will be rewarded for it. As you can see, when you slow down time, it's very interesting. Even the NPCs start moving slower. Like, Cafe is moving slower right there. Anju in the Stockpot Inn, she'll also move much slower. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. And he pulls an organ out of where? With petals and all? And listen to me. Please play this song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. I mean, for six keys, he pulled that big ass thing out. I don't understand. I don't understand. So good, dude. So good. So then, you know, if all this is happening in Link's head when these masks take over his body and stuff like this, I think this is a cool depiction. Him being like, oh, you know, bye. It's over with. Like, we can split ways. You weren't the worst. You weren't the best. Also, I love how smooth his animation is when he does that little jig right there. This is a melody that heals the evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, uh, yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Good, dude. You got a Deku mask. Keep it as a memento. Press start and set it. Wear the mask to inhabit the body of a Deku. Now, I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please give me that which you promised me. Don't tell me. My mask? You did. Get it back. Yeah. What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. So now we're gonna get a little history. The mask was stolen from me. It's called Majora's Mask. This is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing ritual. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great the ancient ones fearing such catastrophe sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was the unwelcoming feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. And I'm begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Get your own mask, bro. Like, if I was Link, dude, deuces, dude. Good luck, man. Fuck this town. <laughs> and these people.
That mass, the Skull Kid used the power of that mass to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside of town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. So we're going to awaken owl statues. This first human cycle, we're going to take it to, again, do everything uh, around Clock Town. Um, complete a few missions. Do a couple, you know what I mean? Do it. Just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Get some heart pieces. Get some health about us before we head out into, uh, into the world. So we've slowed down the clock. With the clock slowed down, we really don't have to rush for anything. We're really doing great as far as like... Boy, that was nice. Okay. So a little free heart piece up here. It's always nice. Not always nice, easy first check to get, you know. You can jump now. You're not a Deku. We've collected three pieces of heart already. So, we don't need the moon tier. But... Oh, it's two, three, four, five, one. I'll keep messing that up, eh? Two, three... So now that we did that, it's gonna it's gonna trigger Jim, their leader. He's gonna wonder how we got in here, because he didn't tell me the code. But we knew the code because we went back in time, and the code doesn't change. However, it does change every file you have. Hey guy, you haven't passed my test, so how do you know my secret code? Nobody but bombers know that code, so how do you know it? Listen, guy. You're pretty good. Managed to figure out a code that only we know. Now that's something. I like you. What's your name, guy? Plane, huh? All right. That Skull Kid broke our rules and is doing all kinds of stuff. I'm making Plane a new member of the Bombers instead. This is the Bombers Notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. You got the Bombers Notebook. It allows you to keep track of people's schedules. So this is basically your quest log. One, find troubled people and add their names and pictures. Only 20 people will fit in your book. Two, promise to help them. Mark promises with promise stickers. Never be late with fulfilling your promises. Whenever you solve someone's problem, it makes you happy. So a happy sticker will be added to your book. No removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of people until everyone is happy. Don't forget these rules. Tattle, you tell that skull kid he's out of here. He's been acting like a real jerk lately. Bomber's Secret Society of Justice was added to your notebook. You were taught the secret code. So I think it's cool that the citizens know Tattle, or at least that little boy does, because Tattle was hanging out with the Skull Kid. Um, I think, I think that's really cool. Uh, so I missed that jump because I was too far to the left. Uh, we don't have any mail to deposit yet. Okay, now we're gonna hop across these targets. That's gonna get us up here. And over here to our first big rupee chest of Clock Town. There's a couple rupee chests in Clock Town. Uh, but that's worth a hundred. We're gonna go immediately put that in the bank. So we'll head back down to the south. Now, what's interesting with the uh, stuff to do in Clock Town right now is um, a lot of it still depends on certain times of day. Uh, one example is the bomb shop. The bomb shop, in order to get the bigger bomb bag cheaper, we 
are going to have to uh, save the lady, and she'll give us the blast mask as well. From now until the colonel, until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So will you try it? All right, so we're gonna do the expert course. Cut down ten logs using the highly difficult techniques. Score perfect thirty points. You shall be taught all the secrets. Be prepared. So in order to get a perfect thirty points, you have to uh, jump slash all of them. Which, uh, sometimes in the old school game, your aimer can get messed up. And if that happens, it can cause you to lose this uh, minigame, which is very frustrating to have to repeat. Uh, this is this is usually one of the ones that'll do it. You just have to be so careful to make sure that he's actually going to go toward the log and chop. Sometimes he takes a mind of his own and he'll go like way off, like he'll be off to the left or off to the right of it. Impressive! I must give you something. Here! So there we are. We've now assembled a full... Unbelievable! Cherish it well! So we've now uh, assembled a full heart container. That's going to be nice to have. Um... We are going to go here and deposit rupees. He's going to want to take a look. 60 rupees. Are you going to make a deposit? All right. How much? We're going to give him everything we've got right now. All right. 200 gets us the wallet. So what we're going to do now... Basically, he won't let me buy without a sword and shield. What we're going to do now is go get a couple rupees from the field while we wait on uh while we wait on the clock but that way we're also not wasting time so like we're gonna go we're gonna go down over here And into where the ranch would be not because we can do anything over here yet but we can activate an owl statue now the owl statues come in handy because those are gonna be what warp what allows us to warp uh, that's gonna be our fast travel and so it's pretty convenient to go ahead and have that Um, we don't really have a uh, need to go to the swamp yet. There's still stuff we want to do in town. But this was more or less to get rupees and to, uh, I literally, this was just to get rupees. It's not for anything else. We're just out here collecting. So just a random chest out here in the field. I never understood that. I never understood the random chest. Just, there it is. But a nice 20 pieces in it. And that's, we'll take that, you know. That's a win, as far as I'm concerned. And so, again, we're out here right now. Uh, simply trying to collect some rupees will hurt this guy's leg. Check this out. Uh, if I could roll into the tree. Oh my, why can't we roll into this tree? I'm, I'm almost certain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, old school angle. Sorry, guys. All right, let's see here. Now, will it not knock him off? Hey, I stole that rupee from a crow. Don't go stealing it, man. He's far. He's he's destroyed. All right.
We're gonna grab one more rupee while we're out here. Nice little 20 piece. We're good to go now. Full wallet. We're gonna go turn this back in. And after we do this, we're gonna go to the mayor's office, which is in East Clock Town. And after we go to the mayor's office, we're going to um, turn the flow of time back normal. Actually, we can go ahead and do that. Actually, we can go ahead and do that, yeah. So this is uh, the Gorman troop leader. He's one of the Gorman brothers. He leads one of the troops that's performing in the festival. Bah, bother, bother, I'm busy. All right. So again, tons of things that we can do. Um, we're actually gonna slow down the clock whenever we go to do the hotel uh, because we're gonna visit Anju late night. And after we visit her late night, we're gonna run quickly to North Clock Town, and we're gonna stop the mugger from taking the lady's bombs. And when we do that, that is going to be what allows us to uh, get the blast mask early as well. Okay. Oh dear, are you on a field trip, or are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, 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 I say, you have the face of a pro. The characteristics of the person I want you to find, yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't, really. He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat, and I've lost five pounds. You haven't anything, though. Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? <laughs> yeah, so am I, of course. You're an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. We're going to Cafe's Mass to locate a missing person. Where the where this to inquire about the missing cafe? Madame Aroma, the mayor's wife, was added to your notebook. You took the work of a pro. This was added to your notebook. Are you the Finn's damp lady? That's the greeting used among us Zoras. Oh, forgive me. I'm Toto, manager of the band, the Indigo Goes. I'm out of business cards, so a Zora greeting will have to do. The Indigo Goes is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They put out a lot of songs. One of their hits is The Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? You don't? Really? Even one that famous? Hmm. You'd be able to hear it if the show wasn't canceled. Such a shame. Toto, the band manager, was added. <laughs> what an odd guy. You know, I always forget this little room is back here. Cafe's diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Andrew has made her. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There is a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. What a good guy, dude. Okay, so, you know, as a link right now, we're not, we're still, we're still not worried about pretty much anything that's going on right now. Uh, we don't need to worry about the Octorok minigame because we don't have a bow yet. We don't have a quiver. Um, we can worry about this, and we have not gone into the fairy fountain to restore the fairy as a human. There we are.
Oh, Tattle, and you, kind young one, thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness. Token of my gratitude. Oh, kind young one, scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountain. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that stray fairies will not fear you. And now we can look like the great fairy as long as we want. You'll know when you're close to a fairy who's lost in a temple when the mask begins to shimmer. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. So... Link as a human gets the great fairy mask. The Deku gets magic power. If you were to come back with the Deku twice, she would just heal you and that would be that. All right, so now our goal is to head over to the bank and make a deposit. adult wallet see doesn't it doesn't it hold more than your old one fill it up and bring it all into your deposit yep there we go so now we can hold 200 rupees now we are going to go back to the hotel When we get to the hotel, Anju is going to be at the desk after her lunch break. Now, if you come before her lunch break, she won't have any room in the hotel, so you won't have anywhere to stay. If you come after her lunch break and talk to her, she will accept that you have a reservation, and she will let you get the key to your room. What's she having? She's having some rice. That's some soup. Maybe some maybe some edamame. Okay. So we wait. She eats lunch fast. She'll be out at like one. One. Yeah. What's gross is she brought that to her room and then she didn't even clean up. Like she came out and she doesn't even have a tray. So I'm guessing that it's just filthy in there. You didn't even really wash your hands, lady. All right. So we can catch her before the mailman right now. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Did you have a reservation? Yes. You do have a reservation. That's good. Mr. Plain, is it? One moment, please. Mr. Plain, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. Your room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here's your key. You got a room key. You're not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. This is fortunate. Add it to your notebook. Please relax. Edge of the innkeeper was added to your notebook. Okay, so you see now, here's an interesting scene. Uh, uh, um, um, what is this? Yeah. I have delivered this to you. Wait, this letter, where did you? Yeah. From the post box. That's not what I mean. From the post box where? Yeah. From the post box somewhere. Yeah. That's not what I mean. <laughs> so the postman is not playing that bullshit. With the knife key, which is in our thing now the room key we can open this and we can stock our wallet up even further
beautiful. Now we go downstairs. You're also looking for Cafe. I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find them. Tonight at 11.30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. Promise to meet her. So we're getting, as, like I said, as much done around the town as we can, really. That is our goal here. So she's got a request to meet us at night. There are a couple stops we want to make at night. Um, the first will be over... I walked too close to the flower, so his proximity trigger went off. All right. All right, so our first location that we will wait for night is gonna be here. We are going to fast forward it tonight and you will hear our lovely little windmill man uh, from Ocarina of Time, the, the, the little grinder guy. He's going to be over here playing, playing some Song of Storms, and he is going to get frustrated. La, 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 la. They said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad, Sai. Now I'm sad. I think I'll just keep... I think I'll, I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah, uh, yes, I'll do that. Dear guest, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a why could a why could a man join? That's because a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing that I didn't like about it. Why was the why was the why was the dog the leader? Was it because something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I... That's why I... That's why I stole it. The dog's mask, I stole it. I wanted to become... I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. Alright, we got the Bremen mask. Very nice. This mask belonged to the troop of... An, the leader of an animal troop. Try parading around young animals. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly and they became adults in an instant. Guru Guru, the traveling musician, was added to your notebook. You listened to his confession of guilt. Nice. Okay. So. So the reason we were able to get our room is because this Goron is supposed to be the Goron that was named after Link in Ocarina of Time in Death Mountain. The son of Darunia or whatever his name was. I can't think of the, the main Goron's name, but his son was named after Link. And he had a room here. The wind has gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow is rain, Goro. Goro, Goro. So sad. Um, again, we won't be able to do much with, uh, with any of these mini games yet because we don't have the stuff we need. Uh, we're going to save the bomb lady, so that's going to happen. But basically what we need to do now is honestly, it's just a waiting game. We just need to wait, uh, for 11 o'clock. That is the name of the mission right now. The waiting game. Relax. Um, we're also going to teach the dancers how to dance. We're going to... I don't think... I'm going to go check. I don't think Link has anything. This will help pass the time, too. I don't think Link has anything worthy of uh, getting... In the treasure chest hunt, but we'll see. We'll go give it a try. 
<laughs> All right, 20 rupees, and we have our chest. My approach is always to try to walk straight to it, and then if that doesn't work, just keep trying to walk straight to it until it won't let you walk straight anymore. We'll see if this strategy works. Alright, uh, we gained 30 rupees profit. Not bad. Alright. So 50, 50 rupees. We'll walk over and take this and go ahead and put it in the bank. Just because. And then we'll make it back to the hotel in time for 11. And then after that, we'll go save the bomb lady. And then after that, we'll go out north and go heal the dancing Camaro on the stone mushroom. So there's a lot that you can get done with Link in the first few cycles. Uh... Just make the most out of day one as you can see we've done all of this and it's still not the end of day one there's just really so much you can get done in the town right at the start of this game and I don't think you know when you, when you first start I think a lot of people get so intimidated by the clock I always thought this was Woody from Toy Story turns out it's a carpenter holding a log on the 3DS version, you can see this poster in much better definition. Um, I was always, as a kid, was like, why'd they put Woody, Woody there? That's not Woody. Um, but I don't think a lot of people, they get so caught up on the time, I don't think they realize that they can do so much right away in this game. Now, the only reason we were able to go through the front door and we didn't have to Deku Flower to get, so, so fun fact. This door here, you can only get in with the Deku Flower, but if you get in here, it's always unlocked. So it will always be unlocked. You'll never have to worry. You'll never have to be like, damn, I didn't do the side quest to get the key. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So she'll come out of her room at 11. And then she'll meet me down there. We'll have our talk or whatever. And then I've got to hightail it over to North Clock Town. Fast as, as can be. Um, I'll see. Come on down, Andrew. 11 opens the door. No? She really open at 11.30? Dang, dude, she's gonna take forever, huh? There we go, 11.15. Girl, you pushing it. So let's meet at 11.30. So fun fact, even if you're not wearing the mask, she'll say let's talk in the kitchen because she doesn't have any other dialogue that's supposed to happen because unless you've triggered this event, she would not be doing the thing she's doing. So there's only one line of dialogue she's got right there. We'll talk in the kitchen. And we're going to slow down time again one more time before this interaction. The reason being is... This is going to, uh, this is going to slow us down and give us enough time to get to North Clock Town, which is truly the goal here. Okay. Oh, what the? I'm sorry, guys. I hit B. It's clear to me. Please. Here's my letter. Please put this in the post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Andrew is waiting for him, and please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Yes. Thank you very much.
You were given a letter to cafe. Quickly deliver the letter in the mailbox. Please mail it immediately in the morning. Okay, so we're actually good to go. Uh, jump over the desk. And we have to hightail it to North Blocktown, which is just up here. The lady should just now be walking out. It should be very slow. There she is. And we'll return time to normal. So she speeds up. here as you can see we're in the cutscene here he comes steal the bag ouch watch out stop thief give the old lady a luggage back oh we missed fuck you <laughs> so if you shoot that with an arrow it'll explode like if you forget to do this quest and then shoot that with an arrow it'll explode So now we get the blast mask. Cheaper bomb bags. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. All right, there we go. And then we've got one more thing we're going to do on today's episode and we're going to we're going to uh do a little wrap up. We've got one more thing we're going to do on today's episode. Then we're going to do a little wrap up, okay? So here we are, final task of our night, the dancing Camaro. There he is. my dance across the world train its followers yeah. translations i've taught it to you now make it into a popular dance craze camaro's mask use it to teach a dance move to the world so it can become more popular as popular as he'd hoped it would be i'm counting on you translation i'm counting on you the spirit dancer camaro was added to your notebook you became the dancer's successor this was added to your notebook so now what we're gonna do Climb back up. And we're actually immediately going to go into the west. We could have went right back into North Clock Town, but I just prefer to go all the way around um, for that one because it's really not that much longer. And you don't have to cut through a million different little scenes. And you're right where you need to be. So we're going to put this on, and we're going to dance, and now we are their sensei. We are their masters. Yes, yes, watch my dance moves, ladies. Left, right, left, right. Fantastic. Is it not? I always love how it shows the guard's face, like he's just like checking all out, like what? Thank you for teaching us those steps. You are a master. We got a piece of heart. The Rose's sister twin dancers were added to your notebook. You stole the hearts of the dancers. This was added to your notebook. Master, you're so cool. And just like that, our first episode ever of Plain Old Plays. And our first episode of Majora's Mask. Going to come to an end, folks. 
We will pick up in the next episode with day two. Finishing up around Clock Town, resetting the time cycle, and checking out the Southern Swamp with the Deku. This has been an absolute blast to play. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it. In fact, let's go ahead and get over here. I uh, had an absolute blast tonight, guys. Um, recording and making the first ever Plain Old Plays was everything I wanted it to be. I have some editing to do. Obviously, this is still going to be included because I want you guys to know this is my first one and I'm just excited about it. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. I've got plenty more content coming for you. We have shorts that upload every day of Kaizo Mario, and then these will be Tuesdays and Thursdays. There'll be about an hour to an hour and a half clips of, uh, of well, playthrough, raw playthrough of different games. Your recommendations are always accepted, so please consider throwing some wrecks of games you would like to see me tackle in the comments below. Remember to subscribe, follow the channel. Would love to continue to put out awesome content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for checking out what Plain Old Trey has to offer. If you liked it, come hang out with the Plain Old crew every Monday through Friday, 8, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Twitch. Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, you can catch us over on Kick. Uh, for those nights, that is 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. I sure do hope you're enjoying the Plain Old Plays and all the other content the channel has to offer. If you're looking for other ways to support Plain Old Trey in this community, you can come check us out over on Twitch, over on Kick, or even follow on Twitter. Everywhere you'll find me at Plain Old Trey. Thank you so much for the support always. Subscribe, follow, like the channel, do the things, and we'll catch you next time.